Alrighty, we have a pretty big update for you guys today. It's been a really long time since I filmed my last update. Um, super excited to get back into things. I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling really healthy finally. Um, the podcast is going really well. A lot of really good feedback from you guys and then even some people we don't know. So like Siri and I are kind of like on a high right now. It's, it's feeling good. Um, our next episode on the podcast is going to be out this weekend coming too. Um, and it's gonna be a really good one. Lots of good topics to cover. So super excited about that. But as you can tell, it looks like, um, Wonderland Maintenance or the Carpenters, sorry, are doing the track walk. And, uh, this is where they'll decide what needs to be retracked. It looks like that section that they were currently walking on might be the area of opportunity, um, this spring for retracking. So, I was kind of looking forward to a couple of few other areas. Um, I, I find the retracking isn't helping Mindbuster too much anymore. So we'll see. We'll see when we uh, come back this spring if it's helped at all. Um, but yeah, comment down below. What section of Mindbuster do you think needs the most retracking? Kind of curious. But as you can see here, Clockworks has been completely removed off of its structure um, and motor. Um, this is what it looks like without its little cover. Um, I thought it looked really weird, but I have been instructed that this is normal. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of curious. It's a, a lot of work going on. I'm definitely going to reach out um, to a couple of my sources and see what's going on here. So in my next video, I'll have some more information um, on you. I'm assuming Winterfest is just taking a little bit of a toll on the ride and it's just going in for some sweet little, you know, a, a nice little massage at the uh, <laughs> the spa uh, to, to get some little rest after Winterfest. Um, but nonetheless, this is Tundra Twister. They were out here doing some measurements. Um, everything for the ride should be measured. So I, by the looks of it, this looks like it's for the cement pad. Um, so they could be getting ready to actually dig and pour the cement foundation. The ride platform looks way smaller than I was expecting. Um, this is a view of Blastoff. Um, Blastoff is just getting some work done to its hydraulics. It had a little bit of a hydraulic leak. Um, but nonetheless, uh, here is uh, Snoopy's Racing Railway. I was expecting more work, to be honest. Uh, lots of work being done on the footings, but I was kind of expecting all the footings to be complete. So... Yeah, this is interesting. I was even actually kind of half expecting to see track. Um, could be hiding. Wonderland's gotten really good at hiding things from me. Um, but nonetheless, um, can't see any track in view. Um, and not all the footings are done. Um, so, yeah. Interesting. We are I'm getting to halfway through um, January. I, would have expected all the fittings to be done and then the curing and then we should see supports be going up at the end of January. That was what my timeline I was kind of going with in my head and predicting. Now we could be looking at early February. Um, I'm going to still hold out for late January for supports. Um, I'll keep an eye out for you guys, but I kind of, yeah, it's it's been... It's been very slow going, um, but nonetheless, they've been working full force. That's a pretty big team for such a small coaster, um, so uh, maybe they'll catch up. Kind of excited. I personally think this is a great addition for Canada's Wonderland and the families. I know some enthusiasts disagree, but I am a theme park enthusiast, and I strongly believe this is a really great attraction for Canada's Wonderland. I'm super excited to see the final um kind of image the what it looks like completed and yeah anyways uh, that's all i have for you guys today uh, again stay tuned for our podcast this weekend and by the way uh, to our patreons thank you so much definitely find us on patreon i post a lot of tea on there i'm not even kidding a lot and our newsletters that i post every month are actually really detailed and uh, I, I, I'm pretty proud of what I've been doing on Patreon lately. So if you feel like you want to check out a little more inclusive, uh, sorry, exclusive content, definitely check me out on Patreon. I promise I make it worth it now. Anyways, thanks so much, guys. Have a good one.